Yeah, yeah. Rap Diablo. Yeah, yeah. It's the Rap Diablo. Macho when I drop flows. Bar gets raised up. It's me and Petey Pablo. Colder than Spacho. Colder than the mono. Rapping head honcho. Rocking shows like I was Bono. I go play a couple keys on the piano. Oh no. Industry a lie. All the promises were hollow. Follow. Me, I can show you where we bees at How'd I get my G-Pass? None of your f***ing beeswax These raps, bring the joint together like a kneecap Put the little a hole show me where the keys at Well, this is a perfect day to announce the uh, second bike that I got because the RM's over there leaking coolant. Look at this, boy. Who's a Berg? Call me the Berg boy, son. Horizontal motor, 390. Let's see what she got. I, I got a bump started, though, because the electric start ain't working. <laughs> Nothing, dude. Well, I'm fricked. How do you turn the gas on on this contraption, dude? What kind of motor is this way, man? What is this, a moped? Jeez, man. Come on, baby. Hey, I hit it on accident, but ah, we got it. God dang, man. Something sounds wrong. Oh, it's because the seat's kind of unbolted, and the air box is like exposed right there. I'm hearing the intake sounds. Got a floppy fender here. Berg boy coming at you live and direct, baby. I love this clutch, though. Oh my god, that four stroke power though. This ain't no DRZ, it's a 390, but it's got way more oomph than, than one of those dizzers. Time continuum, Mortal Kombat finish them. Trying to find a balance, reaching for my equilibrium. Fools, I pity them. I'm not a human, I'm amphibian. A fake superhero <laughs> like the mystery. In all seriousness though, this is a Husaberg 390. And it's not my bike, all right? God dang it. I have been riding a lot of four strokes recently, just my friends. I'm riding this 390 right now. I've been riding a lot of DRZs, and man. <laughs> Clutching coasters? I don't know why I just decided to do that on this bike. <laughs> this is not my bike. I rode a WR 450. 450, baby. It feels amazing, dude. I need one of these. This is what's nice about a 450, man. On the highway, cruising. Beautiful night, 60 degrees. I'm telling you I need a 450, bro. The 125 is fantastic, but you cannot do this type of stuff on a 125, man. Tour the city. Amazing. Just amazing. It's been making me want to upgrade to a bigger bike, so... Guys, I did the dang thing. I bought a new bike, bruh. It's pretty sick, man. Look at this, bruh. One wheel, two wheels, three wheels, tire, frame? Frame? What the? Why is there a goddamn frame in my truck? What in the plastics? Kickstand, wiring, brake calipers, bro. Oh no, instruction manual. Oh. oh, this isn't good. What have I done? This isn't a bike. Ooh, a trash bag, you know what that is, son? That's a 450, my guy. I did end up getting a big bike, but sadly it's probably not what you guys are expecting. I got a 2007 YZ450, okay? But the only problem is, it's not really a bike right now, it's kind of a bunch of, Components. I ain't saving oh. nothing. I'm getting faded till the angels come and skipping all the. F yes, sir. We got one 17 inch DNA racing supermoto wheel. Probably some eBay brand, I don't know, but it's a supermoto wheel. A 16 and a half Excel Talon front, okay? Blue anodized, I like that. We got a 17 blue anodized Excel Talon rear. Okay, we got a spare slick underneath. Yep, don't need that. RM gang always looking nice. And look at this, boy. We got the rest of the goddamn bike. Triple clamps, forks, rear shock, fenders, brakes, radiators. Ah, full fifth. I got a Supermoto, guys. 2007 
YZ450, it's carbureted, but what are you gonna do? I got a good deal on it, it's in pieces. I see this a lot on YouTube where guys do build series and stuff, but I'm really not about that life. I'm gonna do that YouTube magic that I always see. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Wait. Maybe a little harder. I Not working, dog. All right, let's leave. Right now, it's unrideable, obviously. It's gonna be sort of like a build series on the channel, I'm thinking. It's a long way from being ready, uh, but it is like supermoto trim. I'm gonna go ahead and build that over the next couple weeks, months, whatever, through the winter. Should be a great bike, though, once I get it up and running. Ain't nothing like a two smoke, though, baby. You already know. Barrel of society. I tell my bitch if she don't love me, then just lie to me. I'm finer than the winery. Now I'm pretty sure I've said multiple times that when I bought a new bike, I didn't want it to be a project. I just wanted to buy something that I could enjoy right away. And as you can see, nothing is put together and it's probably missing a bunch of stuff. I only bought this because it was in my budget and I could afford it like right now, put it together, enjoy it for a while and hopefully sell it for some more money in the future, maybe a little flip or trade it for something. But it's a 2007 YZ450F frame. The engine is actually a 2006, but this thing, has some pretty trick parts on it. It has a slipper clutch, uh, hot cams. It's a sumo setup too. It came with three wheels. These are actually both 17s, uh, rear and front. And then this one is a 16 and a half front for like track setup, which I'm never gonna use. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but it should be some interesting content for the channel. And I'm looking forward to doing a little build series on it maybe. We'll see what happens. I just wanna get the thing ready to ride because I rode my friend's 450 the other day, a WR450, and that 450 power is something else. So right now my main objective is to just kind of clean everything because it's all pretty dirty. A lot of like nasty brownness to it. It's kind of dirt stained. Uh, I actually scrubbed this part already so it looks a lot better, but I need to scrub the whole frame. Make it as crispy as possible before I reassemble everything because it's easiest to clean in this state, so. Take it from the rich, this is piracy. Finally, I don't even need my f***ing eyes to see. Come and die with me. Everybody got their homies. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to get all this dirt residue off the frame. It's not really dirt, but it's just like stained on there. As you can see, this side I scrubbed and it looks much better. So I'm just trying to do that to the whole frame. You can tell like before, boom, kind of nasty. And then after, looks much better. Let's get it. I'm pretty okay with the frame looking like that. Honestly, I'm not trying to make it a show bike. I just want to get it together, so. Everybody got their homes. Yeah, said everybody got. Swing arm, that's probably the best I'm gonna get it. A lot of this stuff would be a lot easier to clean if I had this degreaser and like a pressure washer and I was outside, but I'm literally just scrubbing it with a toothbrush and this degreaser. It's not fun, it's taking a long time, but when it gets thrown back together, it'll be looking real nice. That's all that matters. Fresh little chain slider, okay. Dead homies. Look at this bearing, bro. Oof. This thing is kind of stuck, so I'm gonna hit it really hard and see what happens. <laughs> it's really just like a through bolt, but it is not coming out. So I think I'm gonna try and take this whole arm off right here. I don't know, see if we can press it out or something. I actually took this thing off. Uh, it's right here, but my dilemma is this little triple thing that connects to the shock. I need to reuse this thing to connect to the frame, but uh, as you can see, this one has good bearings in it. This one, the bearing is just destroyed and I can't get this bolt out. I need to like push this bolt through so that I can take it off and use this on this to put on there, right? I can't get it, so I think I'm gonna give up on the swing arm for right now and I'm actually gonna put on the forks. So we got the uh, front forks right here, we got the wheels. The triple's already on there, so I might as well try and get these forks on, maybe put on the front wheel, at least do something because this rear end is starting to piss me off. I'm just gonna ignore it, move on, get the front end done, and we'll go from there, so. So let's do that, man. All right, guys, you would think this would be uh, common knowledge, but the fork with the brake mount on it goes on the left side. All right, let's do it. It ain't fitting, cuz. Did everybody got their homes? Okay. Yeah, boy. Look at that, dude. It's a real bike now. I really don't know why I did this. Um, I really promised myself that my next bike was going to be nice. It wasn't going to need any work. And uh, as you can see, I totally failed. I freaking 
I freaking got a frame with some forks on it, bruh. Oh no. My mind is Yoda, I'm on Ayatollah. These other rappers just a die soda. I find Jehovah in the darkest places. <sighs> this is why you don't buy project bikes, okay? Look at this. I'm in here, tightening bolts. Can you see that? Boom. Frame. Crackerino, baby. Oh, I'm going home, cuz. That's it, man. I'm going home. I'm going home, man. It ain't worth it, dog. It's not worth it. <sighs> not sure what I was thinking, man, buying this bike. I'm gonna have to get a new frame now. <sighs> this marathon, gentlemen. Go ahead and start the race. Save the cop and face. Come up with some tell your bitches you've been tripping now you on vacation Rapping like it's automated Lights I keep them on like Vegas Lava making so hot I'm turning hog to bacon Only God can save them I heard the monsters made them I ain't a star I'm way farther with the